Get it in. Africa. Here's a fake good little monkey. Always very curious. When they drew some man, he had on a large yellow straw hat. Man saw George too. What a nice little monkey he thought. Where's the man with the yellow hat? Where is he? I would like to take him home with me. Put his hat on the ground. Well, of course, George was. What was George? Curious? Of course. Curious. He came down from the tree to look at the large yellow hat. Where's the hat? Hat. There it is. Hello. The hat had been on the man's head. George thought it would be nice to have it on his own head. He picked it up and put it on. Where's George? Where's his hat? It's covering his head. The hat covered George's head. He couldn't see. The man picked him up quickly and popped him into a bag. George was caught. The man with the big yellow hat put George into a little boat and a sailor rowed the boat across the water to a big ship. George was sad, but he was still a little... Who was George? Yes. Curious. That's right. Hence, Curious George. On the big ship, things began to happen. The man took off the bag. George sat on the little stool. The man said, George, I want to take you to a big zoo in a big city. You will like it there. Now run along and play, but don't get into trouble. George promised to be good, but it's easy for little boys. Circles. Circles. Of seagulls, right. Seagulls. On the deck he found some seagulls. He wondered how they could fly. He was very curious. Finally, he had to try. It looked easy, but what happened? What happened? Do you remember? Oh, what happened? First this, and then this. Yes. Fish. Fish. Where is George? Sailors looked and looked. At last they saw him struggling in the water and almost all tired out. Man on the board, the sailors cried as they threw him a life belt. George caught it and held on. At last he was safe on board. After that, George was more careful to be a good monkey. Until at last the long trip was over. George said goodbye to the kind sailors and he and the man with the yellow cap walked off the ship and onto the shore and on into the city to the man's house. After a good meal and a good bite, George was very tired. <laughs> he crawled into bed and fell asleep at once. Where's his slippers? See his slippers? The next morning, the man telephoned the zoo. George watched him. He was fascinated. Telephone. There's a telephone. George was? What was George? Curious. He wanted to telephone too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. What fun. Oh, ding a ling. George had telephoned the fire station. The fire rushed to the telephone. Hello, hello, they said. But there was no answer. Then they looked for the signal. The big man that showed where the telephone call had come from. They didn't know it was George. They thought it was a real fire. What does it say? Hurry, hurry, hurry. The fireman jumped onto the fire engines and onto the hook and ladders. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Everyone out of the way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ding dong. Ding dong. Say hurry, hurry, hurry. The fireman rushed into the house. They opened the door. No fire, only a naughty little monkey. Oh, catch him, catch him, they cried. George tried to run away. He almost did, but he got caught in the telephone wire and... <gasps> the thin fireman caught one arm and the fat fireman caught the other. You fooled the fire department, they said. We will have to shut you up or you can do no any more harm. They took him away and shut him in a prison. Goodness. <laughs> Tough crowd. Can't take a joke, huh? George wanted to get out. He climbed up to the window to try the bars. Just then the watchman came in. He got on the wooden bed to catch George, but he was too big and heavy. The bed tipped over and the watchman fell over. And quick as lightning, George ran out through the open door. What's he going to find next? He hurried through the building and out on the roof. And then he was lucky to be a monkey. Out he walked on the telephone wires. 
Quickly and quietly over the guard's head, George walked away. Balloons. He was free. <gasps> There's the balloons. Down in the street outside Pickle. the prison wall. Pickle. Pickle. She bought a balloon for her brother. George walked. He was curious again. He felt he must have a bright red balloon. He reached over and tried to help himself, but what happened? <gasps> Instead of one balloon, the whole bunch broke loose. In an instant, the wind whisked them all away, and with them went George, holding tight with, can you hold tight? With both hands. Up, up he sailed higher and higher. The houses looked like toy houses, and the people like dolls. George is crying. He's holding on with both hands. At first, the wind blew in great gusts, then it quieted. Mm -hmm. Finally, it stopped blowing altogether. George was very tired. Down, down he went, bump, onto the top of a traffic light. Everyone was surprised. The traffic got all mixed up. George didn't know what to do, and then he heard someone call, Donkey! George! He looked down and saw his friend, the man with the hi, hi. yellow hat. George was very happy. The man was happy, too. George slid down the post, and the man with the yellow hat put him under his arm. Then he paid the balloon, paid for all the balloons, and George and the man climbed into the car, and at last, away they went. To the zoo. zoo. What a nice place for George to live. Zoo. Zoo. Balloons. What else do we see there? Where's the zebra? Zebra. Where's the zebra? Here he is. Where's the pink flamingo? Mm -hmm. How about the giraffe? Mm -hmm. you remember what these are? What are those? Ostriches. Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? There's the turtle. Where's the kangaroo? Open the frog. Where's the kangaroo? Kangaroo. Very good. Elephants? Where's the elephants? Elephants. Who's that? Curious George. With his... What's he holding on to? His red balloon. The end. The end. The end. Oh, yep. Other books.